I will show you step by step how to create Facebook pixel and install it in your HTML website. So let's get started. If this is your first time to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get video updates when new content is added. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using your Facebook pixel to retarget your audience in increasing more sales. So let's go to our Facebook business account and log into it with Facebook profile. Next, we need to click More Tools tab. And again, click this manager tab. Click this events manager tab. And again, we need to click this connect data sources. In this pop up window, we can connect a new data source here. We can select this web option to connect our website to share activity that occurs on our site like page content view, add to cart event or any purchases event that happen on the site. If we need to connect our app, we can select this option to share activity like app downloads, installs and purchases. We can select this web option. Here, we need to select the Facebook Pixel section since we are creating Facebook Pixel. Next, in this page, we need to name the Facebook Pixel we are creating. We can either add the website or web store here, which is optional. And done, we have set up the Facebook Pixel. Next step is to add this Facebook Pixel code to our website or web store. We can either install the Pixel code manually or we can integrate it in any of these sites based on the web platform we are using. In the manual code method, we can install the code within the header section of the website or web store. We need to paste the code just before the closing head tag of your website. We can head to our website in GoDaddy cPanel web hosting account. In the file manager settings page, we need to select the website folder and we can paste the pixel code in the header section in all the pages of our HTML website. You need to download this pixel helper, Chrome extension, a useful tool. What that does is when you are in your website or web page where you have to install it, it will show pixel has been installed properly and it is functioning. If there is an event snippet on the page, it will show that too. With this, we have come to the end of this video. Please like, comment and share my video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you find the video helpful. Thank you.